to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma earlier we found out that the ufc was having trouble finding a headliner for ufc st louis and so they promoted jeremy stevens versus the korean superboy duho Choi to the main event well now the ufc is further bolstering that card by adding kamaru usman versus emil mech to the card and this is a hell of a welterweight fight we'll get into that in a second but this is interesting because this specific fight kamaru usman versus emil mech has been scheduled now this is the third separate card is was scheduled for originally this fight was scheduled and i kind of feel for kamaru usman here but i mean we've been feeling for kamaru usman for one he wants a ranked opponent for two if not a ranked opponent at least he was going to get to be on a ufc 219 the you know end of the year card so that's it you know still a big opportunity and then it was like okay even a better opportunity since he can't get a ranked opponent ufc 220 you know he's got the nigerian nightmare he would have been on the same card as francis Ngannou. i really felt like that was a great place for um, Kamaru Usman, maybe even better than UFC 219, because to be honest, UFC 219, the end of the year card is usually the UFC's most stacked card, they usually try and have just bangers at the end of the year, last year Ronda Rousey, they were aiming for Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson, but when that fell through, Holly Holm versus um, Chris Cyborg was announced as the official main event of UFC 219 now it's still going to be a big card but also we had Dominic Cruz fall off of that card, we've also had um, who else, somebody else fell off of that card we had jimmy rivera versus dominant cruz we still got khabib versus um edson but yeah the connor fight fell off of the card and so now we've only got one title fight on ufc 219 and when you compare it to ufc 220 with francis Ngannou defending his ooh, defending his title whoa getting ahead of myself with stipe miocic defending his title versus francis Ngannou, and also daniel cormier defending his title versus vulcan ozdemir ufc 220 has two title fights also francis Ngannou, the predators got the african you know descent on lock so it felt like that would have been a great spot to put some of that spotlight on the nigerian nightmare kamaru usman as well well now he's getting moved down to definitely a lesser card i mean people have been complaining about this main event even though it's going to be a great night of fights and i really feel like the people complaining about duho troy versus jeremy stevens are ill-informed because it's going to be one of the it's going to be a great fight i mean just because they're not the biggest stars in the ufc in the ufc like it was leaked that the ufc had was trying to find a bigger fight these guys are taking slack because they weren't the original main event but this is going to be a hell of a fight for jeremy stevens to duho Choi. i mean come on duho Choi was literally just in fight of the year contender versus cub swanson last year and he's been out since then he's now returning but this could easily be another one of those styles of fight a top 10 i mean you can expect maybe one of the top 10 fights of the year these guys are going to come in there and they're in the main event jeremy stevens even though he was put in this opportunity for whatever circumstances i know it's got to just have him that more pumped like yo i'm about to show these people what the fuck is up uh, jeremy stevens if you guys remember the conor mcgregor press conference when when conor mcgregor was like who the fuck is that guy he was talking about jeremy stevens and what Jeremy Stevens was saying before that, you know, it doesn't get remembered was, hey, I'll, I'll lay any of the, I'm the hardest hitting 145 pounder out here. I'll lay any of these fucking dudes dead. When I knock them out, it's not a TKO. I drop dudes. So now that he's a main event, that's what I'm expecting him to come out here and aim for in this fight versus the Korean Superboy Duho Choi. Because he's also got to kind of live up to that Cub Swanson fight. He doesn't have to, but he's fighting a guy that's coming off of a fight of the year contender. So if he comes out and for any reason that this isn't like a, a hell of a fight then it might jeremy stevens might take a little slack but i don't see that being the case i think this is going to be a hell of a fight on top of the rest of the card we got uriah Fay uriah hall versus vitor belfort we got Paige van zant versus jesse jess clark we got jessica i on the card versus kalindra faria i believe we we've, we've got we've got um james kraus on the card now we've got kamaru usman versus emil mech this that now i gotta admit that definitely bolstered this card this kamaru usman emil mech fight just made this a must watch for me like gotta fucking watch this entire card that just made like the I, it, it definitely bolstered the card is what i'll say so i like the fact that they added it although as a hardcore fan I feel like it didn't really need it and if you're talking about adding star power i don't think they just did that i mean they just added another 
good fight. Um, Kamaru Usman's a ranked welterweight, maybe one of the best top five welterweights on the planet. He just can't get his opportunity. He won the Ultimate Fighter. Now he's on a six fight winning streak. Now he's looking for ranked opponents, and everybody's got a reason. You know, he's too high of a risk, too low of a reward. They say he's not big enough of a star for how high of a risk he is. Well, if he's not that big of a star, which is why he can't get these big fights, then how does adding him to this card really help? the star power you know what I'm saying so I don't really understand that I would have way rather seen Kamaru Usman get the opportunity if he's not going to get a fight versus any of these ranked guys he's fighting an unranked Emil Mech who at this point I, I like I love Emil Mech I'm a huge fan of Emil Mech I want to see him successful in the UFC but he's going against a fucking killer in Kamaru Usman that nobody wants to fight. The only reason Emil Mech probably is taking this fight, and not the only reason, but a huge reason, is because he's forgetting to fight a ranked opponent. These opportunities don't come very often. Hell, Kamaru Usman is ranked himself and can't get a fight with a ranked opponent. So... Emil Mech's taking this opportunity. He wants to show that he's the best in the world, and he's definitely got a chance. I mean, it's MMA. Anybody can win. Don't be surprised if fucking Emil Mech comes in and lands a left hook like everybody does who wins a big upset. That left hook, uh, yo, I'm about to start predicting that. Anytime there's a huge um, underdog, I'm going to say he's either losing or he's winning via KO left hook. <laughs> so don't be surprised if Emil Mech comes in here and drops Kamaru with the left hook just because that's how all the underdogs win. I'm just saying... Kamaru Usman honestly didn't want this fight and just because he would rather have a ranked opponent and then Emil Mech had the visa issues and he started trying to make it look like Kamaru Usman was ducking him like yo I got visa issues and now he don't want to fight me it's like no it's got nothing to do with your visa issues or you I wanted a ranked opponent to begin with and now you you can't make our first date and you want me to reschedule who knows that's that's not Kamaru Usman's plan so it was just kind of cringy to me whenever Ariel Hawani um, had Emil Mech on the show and he was like so so Kamaru Usman doesn't want to fight you now? What? Like, that is not the case. You cannot run Kamaru Usman ducking nobody. Six fight winning streak, still fighting unranked opponents. Kamaru Usman is literally going to have to be one of those guys, Max Holloway, Tony Ferguson, Robert Whitaker, that goes on a seven, eight, ten fight winning streak before he gets his opportunity because nobody wants to fight him, whether it's because too high of a risk, low reward, or whatever reason these people come up with, whether it's visa issues or it just doesn't make sense. I want to fight up in the rankings. People got excuses to not fight Kamaru Usman, so now he's going to have to fight guys like Emil Mech and then maybe the 15th ranked guy and get on that 8 9 fight fight winning streak but I just you know now that he's on UFC St. Louis I'm gonna watch the card but I just feel like putting Kamaru Usman on UFC 220 specifically even better than 219 would have been dope Francis Ngannou and Kamaru Usman I just felt like that's gonna help Kamaru Usman get some of that shine maybe I don't know you know the, the African you know the African descent the Nigerian nightmare Francis Ngannou but it is what it is I've said enough on this video put out man there's been so much news today and I haven't even got to watch the MMA or I might have to watch that shit tomorrow who knows unless there's some breaking crazy shit that they've announced that I haven't seen yet but with that being said man it is what it is let the full time family know what the fuck you tell me in the comments I'm out Da, 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 da. It's the motherfucking D-O-Double-G.